What are you most proud of here in the school district? Everything. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Everything. Quite honestly, uh, our faculty and staff is just incredible and they do, they go above and beyond every day for our students. You're in double digit cuts. If these cuts were to go through, what are the types of things that you'd be looking at in terms of an impact on uh, programs and the student population here? School districts are 75% salary and benefits. So we cannot reduce a budget without affecting people. And that is the last thing we want to do. Our transportation costs are going up. Our health insurance costs are going up. So our budget was going up before we lost the aid. You know, we're also almost 300 square miles. I look at uh, Mr. Clinton here, our dispatcher, who has to try to figure out how to get a thousand kids to school who from end to end are more than an hour apart. And we do things like have two tiered late bus runs so that kids can stay and participate in things. And a lot of kids take advantage of that. And there's STEM and PE and art and music and homework help. Um, and it's, you know, we need to be able to have that and running the buses and that's part of the budget. The school makes up for a, a place that's safe and, um, you know, the kids can be together and they can learn and they can grow social emotionally as well as academically. Well, I've been here 16 years. I never would have thought 16 years ago that I'd still be here. Like, so everybody who comes to work for the district, we stay because we love it. It's, it's home. We're family. We're all family. Like, so we love the district, but the budget stuff is going to try, it's going to, it's going to put a riff in there. If there are foundation aid cuts that affect our district, it will affect our staff. But at the same time, uh, the students are the ones who are directly affected. We're going to send a message directly to the legislators in Albany and to the division of the budget, to the governor. What would be the message that you would want delivered? There's nothing extra here, you know, like there's nothing extra. Our kids need learning support. They lost a lot during the pandemic. They haven't caught up yet. And our kids are not okay. They need mental health support. You know, our kids are dealing with way, way more than they should at their age. But I just kind of say shame on you for making such this drastic cut right now. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Um, I'd say do better, do better for our children. There's no reason at all to make this not happen. There is plenty of money. We can make a better plan for the future. I have faith in the legislature that they'll push back against the proposed cuts. That, that the budget's done by April 1st, so we can go back to planning appropriately um, the budget our kids need to thrive here. When we get to the final budget that comes out, I want to make sure it's as big and as strong as, as possible.